You are the glory of the Father, and I truly appreciate what the Lord is doing through, in, with, for, and in you. Amen. You are the blessedness of the Father, and I just want to say thank you so very much. I have a message um, just uh, on an important note for Mr. Adeboale Adedayo. Um, I really want to say thank you, Mr. Macaroni. <laughs> that is what you're known as. I really want to say thank you uh, for all that you continue to do upon creation. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the dimension of all that you continue to give back onto the world. Yes, not just to the people of the nation where you're in, but also to the world. Because in the midst of all that is happening, you still basically have time to put smile on the faces of the people. And it's such a, you know, it's it's such a beautiful joy to see uh, as someone of your caliber, just to be able to manifest this um, in the Father, you know, uh, to bring absolute comfort in most times uh, uh, through what you do. Because some of what you do, prophetic in nature, some of what you do, encouragement, some of what you do, counsel at the same time, and majority are learning, you know, from what it is that you continue to bring onto each and every one of us. God bless you. And for that and in that in itself, the Bible declares in Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And, uh, you know, and for that in itself, because God is your refuge and your fortress. Can you see that? God is your refuge and your fortress. Because Psalm 27 also declares, it says, the Lord is your light and your salvation. And for that reason is why I just want to share this word with you, just in obedience to my Father in heaven. I remember, you know, I'm, I'm just encouraged to share this in itself because um I remember there was a time I was just basically, you know, minding my own business, uh, doing what the Lord called me to do. And um, uh, the Lord began to warn me ahead of time. He said, there is somebody going to come and going to try to align with you. And the person is basically a witch. And what they would do is they would try to what? They would try to veer you away and from the path that I've laid for you. But I will save you when that time comes. And to God be the glory, when that time came, he actually did. Do you see that dimension? So it is that place I just wanted to share this word with you. I keep discerning the word frivolous. That's the word I keep discerning, frivolous. And it is in this hour that you have to be careful of frivolous relationships. Yes, especially with, you know, uh, the female counterpart. And I, and I share that with love because from the dimension of the Bible, the Bible tells us that, you know, in the book of Judges, we see, you know, Samson. Samson was basically doing what God called him to do. But then there was a dimension of Delilah who tried to basically find out exactly what was happening to him in order to shut him down because there were people behind the scenes who was trying to bring who? Samson down. So it is a place where the Lord began to show and help me to understand with you, Mr. Macaroni, that you have to be careful because why? There are, there is a, a you know, from what I'm getting is actually a particular person. It's a lady, basically. And you have to be careful because you know why? She is walking in the dimension of witchcraft. And for that reason, her job is to bring people down who are basically, you know, walking in the dimension of what the Father has called them. So the glory upon your life is what the person is truly after. That's basically it. The glory on your life is what the person is truly after. And I remember there was a time the Lord basically mentioned something to me and said, you know, because there was a particular lady that I was basically walking with, not understanding the very depth of that in itself. And he said, this person has a habit of bringing down people. Yeah, the person has a habit of bringing down people. So what they do, they relate with you. They try to get to know you. They act as friends and, you know, they seem kind of interested in you but their mission is actually death <laughs> can you see that it might not be death basically you dying no I, I rebuke that in the name of jesus i bless you with life but death in terms of you know death to what it is that you're doing death into ministry death into relationship death into you know those manifestation of and death in christ means separation that's what it truly means so i just want to basically bring that because the lord is helping you to understand that you have to be what you have to be 
sober and to be vigilant of what frivolous relationship but you have to understand the bible also tells us that he is with you he that is with you is far greater than he that is in the world so therefore because the lord knows the end from the beginning but he warns us ahead of time so that when we posture ourselves what in his protection where he has placed us to be in a secret place that means whatever the adversary is looking for concerning you it will pass you by do you see that dimension that is why the bible tells us in the book of zechariah chapter 2 it says i will what i will, you do not need walls for i will be so the father is a wall of fire all around you all around all that you continue to do all around around your relationships all around your finances i rebuke every manifestation of death to anything that concerns you that is the lord has placed in your hands i speak life over you the bible declares in john 10 10 it says the thief cometh to what to steal to kill and to destroy but i have also come to give life and give it abundantly so i speak the abundance of life that you will continue to flourish and be fruitful in all that the lord has called you to do so in this hour because this thief is what is roaming about like a roaring lion seeking to whom he will seeking whom he will devour i decree and declare by the authority of the word the name that is above every other name that you will not be devoured i declare that your steps are ordered by the lord that when the time comes for this if it has not if it's you know if it's not in motion yet i declare that whatever it is that the lord will quicken you to be able to expose that which is hidden in darkness according to ephesians chapter 5 it says the light will shine and whatever is hidden in darkness will be brought into that light for you to what to be able to see it clearly so for that reason i release wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him to be able to walk you away from everything that is not of god everything that poses as danger everything that has what that has set itself up in order to bring a downfall no longer shall the enemy have a hand over your life because why he says in his word that the lord is your shepherd and you shall not want because goodness and mercy is following you all the days of your life in jesus mighty name amen so you can see the assignment of delilah <laughs> that is exactly what the lord is basically encouraging me to speak to you in this hour but the bible says he according to jude chapter one who is able to keep you from stumbling that is what he says in the niv and keep you from falling in the king james version so he will keep you <laughs> from falling into every trap and every snare and the bible says that your soul has escaped like a bird <laughs> can you see your soul has escaped the snare he says it has escaped like a bird so therefore whatever it is whoever has dug a pit concerning you will fall into it themselves i decree i declare and it is established in jesus mighty name amen and amen we love you sir <laughs> to god be the glory and we thank god for all that you continue to do and the lord will continue to be with you not just with you with your family not just with that in itself but with all that you continue to what to continue to do in jesus mighty name you are the love of the father he loves you so very much because he who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that I can ask or think of is doing it in you and the glory that is being manifested your glory will not be cut short so I speak this over you arise shine for your light has come and that glory of the Lord has risen upon you your glory will not be limited your glory will not be hindered but your glory the glory that the father is in you will continue to overflow over creation over creation over creation over creation in Jesus mighty name Amen. I love you very much, sir. And to God be the glory. May the Lord continue to be with you, continue to uphold you, and continue to magnify himself in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we love you. And I love you too. God bless you. Amen.